Ellen, now that a jury has spoken, Chicago's former police superintendent says he doubted the story Jesse Smollett told about the attack that allegedly happened on this Streeterville block almost immediately. It was this video of Jesse Smollett speaking to investigators with a noose around his neck, allegedly hours after what he called a racist attack that struck the former police superintendent as odd. I will say this. There's no black man in America that I know that would have a noose put around their neck and leave it on. Them. They just won't do that. Today, a jury agreed with that take. A special prosecutor argued Smollett wasted valuable police resources. At the time, nearly two dozen investigators spent days trying to verify the former Empire Star's claims while violent crime was raging across the city. We didn't lay down on other things, but we wanted to give it its due diligence, of course. Just two weeks after a grand jury returned a 16 count indictment against Smollett for lying to police, the office of Cook County State's attorney, Kim Fox, who had recused herself from the case, dropped every one of those charges. Of course, it caught us, me and the mayor, off guard when they dropped the charges. Now, with a special prosecutor winning a five-count conviction against Smollett, Kim Fox said through a spokesperson, the jury has spoken. While this case has garnered a lot of attention, we hope as a county we can move forward. At the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, we will continue to focus on the important work of this office, prioritizing and prosecuting violent crime. Tonight, we tried to catch up with several jurors about what led them to that five-count conviction, but the judge had the jurors escorted to their cars, and we were not able to speak with any of them.